Welcome to the Client's First Business Solutions Epicor presentation on Epicor Social. Epicor Social Enterprise is a new module that became available with Epicor version 10 and is continuing to be developed into a powerful communication system. Historically, when you needed to communicate about business transactions in companies, you would usually use something like email, where you would email a colleague with an order number or a quote number and ask them questions, and then that colleague might reply, CC some additional people, and this ping-ponging might go back and forth and back and forth. Then a third user might come across that order and have no idea about what communications went on via email, or if the person is out who was involved in the email, you have no access to their email email data. In addition, without having the system embedded, you would then have to open up the ERP system and search for that particular order or document and look at the related data. And while looking at that order or document, you'd have no idea that there were conversations going on about it outside of the system. So Epicor Social Enterprise looks to use the paradigm of social media like Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn so that most users are already familiar with how to use it and bring it to the enterprise so that you can have inter-office communication so that everybody is on the same page and customer service and production is improved. So in our example, we have three users. We have Penny Lane, Scott Popeil, and Brian Howard. Penny is the sales um, supervisor or coordinator. Brian Howard is the CFO, and Scott Popeil is the salesperson. As you can see here on the Epicor desktop, we're logged in as Scott Howard, and excuse me, Scott Popeil, and we're going to go ahead and go into order entry and bring up an order that he has, and we're going to add a discount. So we're going to go ahead and let's say Scott feels he needs to give a large discount to get this order through by the end of the month. There is a BPM or business process management rule in this system that says if a discount over 25% is issued, the system's automatically going to put it on hold and people's various Epicor Social Enterprise boards will be notified in order to address it and approve it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 28% discount and immediately I get this message. Am I out of my mind? Clearly not a standard Epicor message. So I'll go ahead and say yes I am and I can continue editing the order or if I try and save the order the system's going to tell me because of the BPM a re an approval reason is required. I need to make quota. So I'm going to go ahead and say submit request and it tells us that this has been submitted for discount approval. The system will automatically then take the order and put it on hold. So now we're going to switch over and log in as the next person in line which would be Penny Lane. So we'll open up Penny Lane and you'll notice that once we get to her login screen she's going to have her Epicor social stream and she'll see that this order that was created was put on hold. Now she can go ahead and reply right here from within her main screen or click on the my stream button right here. From her my stream she can see that the order is on hold or she can say open with and then open with sales order entry to drill down right into the order. She can also go over and hit the activity stream button here which will automatically show all of the information that's been tracked by Epicor Social, including the fact that the order has been put on hold, mainly because of the uh, large discount from here, that it's 28%. So she can go ahead here and reply, and she can reply back to Scott Popeil. Or go ahead and notify Brian Howard, who's her boss. And go ahead and post that message. And now we'll go ahead and close out of Penny. We'll now log in as Brian Howard. So logging into Brian Howard, who's the general manager, he sees some notifications about this, what he should do regarding this, or he could look up or go into his overall social enterprise dashboard and see that this is the order that's been put on hold and what should she do. First thing he's probably going to want to do is actually look at the order, so he's also going to go into sales order entry, and then he's able to look at the specific order. 
Now if you look at the order, he's set up to display the activity stream alongside of the order so he can see all of the discussions that have been going on. So in this case, what should I do regarding the order? He could reply, uh, Brian Howard could reply right within the body of the order here or he could go ahead and do it from his main social interface. I'm going to go ahead and reply here, Penny, this looks good. And then at Scott Popeil, I'll approve now. Okay. So we'll go ahead and post the message. And we hit the post button, and this will update that. Now we'll go ahead right into the order here, take it off of hold. Per Brian. Save it. And we'll just go ahead and close this. Now we'll go ahead and log back in as Penny Lane because she was involved in the process and see that she will get notification in her social stream that the order will have been taken off a hold right here as well as the comments and she's been following this that this looks good and he'll approve it now. So we'll go ahead and log in as the original salesperson Scott Popeil and see what he sees. On his view, he sees that the order has been taken off a hold here, and he could also look at any of the conversations, etc. In this case, he's going to go ahead and go into the order and make any updates he needs to and either print or email the order confirmation to the customer. He goes back to his order, and you can see here the order is off a hold, and he can see all of the conversations about the order. At this point, he can print it, do whatever he wants, but we'll just go ahead and close the order. And you can also see um, back on his home screen the information's there. So that's basically an example of how social enterprise can work. Keep in mind you can decide to follow any document, any customer, whatever it is you follow, you can then decide what you want to be notified about, such as orders being put on hold or discounts being created too large. You can also set it up so that you can have conversations about just about anything. It doesn't have to always relate to a business document. For example, I can go ahead and post a new document and put something like, what are we having for lunch? And again, you can insert a URL and there you can drill down and do a search and find what you want. So we hope this has been helpful. Again, if you have any more questions or want any assistance with Epicor, whether it's training, implementation, updates, or development, uh, or upgrade assistance, please give us a call at 732-970-1450 or hit the chat button below or check us out at our main website, www.clientsfirst-us.com. 